Cast your mind back to April 2021. Hairdressers and pub beer gardens just reopened. Covid vaccinations were available for those 45 and over. Carlo Ancelotti was still the Everton manager and not preparing for a Champions League final. And the European Super League had just tempted away the Premier League Big Six. For 48 hours at least. But the really big news in April 2021 was MG teased this. The MG Cyberster. And after three long years of waiting, it's finally here. It's in the flesh and we're going to show you all around it. Introducing the MG Cyberstar. As a nod to MG's 100th anniversary and its impressive sports car heritage, this new flagship two-seater electric sports car boasts the accolade of being MG's most powerful production model to date. Hi, I'm Sam Luscombe from Luscombe MG Leeds and I've got something special to show you today. While left-hand drive pre-production versions have been touring the UK over the last couple of months, we have the real deal to show you today. Let's have a look around. The Cybersta will come to the UK in two variants, the Trophy and the GT. And while being the entry point of the range, the Trophy packs in 345 brake horsepower and a 0 to 60 time of less than five seconds. It sits on 19 inch alloy wheels and is powered by a single motor rear wheel drive configuration. Refreshingly, there is no compromise on other features or specification. This, however, is the top of the range GT model, sitting on 20 inch alloy wheels and boasting an additional front motor, making it all wheel drive and firing you to 62 miles an hour in just 3.2 seconds. So, let's have a little wander around. So starting at the front of the car, and I think the first thing that I noticed certainly was the proportions and dimensions of this car. So there's this long angular front uh, front end of the car, and the first thing you think is probably more sort of F-type or Boxster, proportions, certainly more so than a BMW Z4. So this is a, a big classic Roadster proportions. Um, at the front we've got this angular front end with um, contrast black splitter uh, and LED headlights. As we come around the side, as I mentioned, this is the trophy model. So it sits on 20 inch diamond cut alloy wheels with a full Brembo uh, brake setup and the calipers on this painted in red. And also there has been no compromise on quality with Pirelli P0 tyres, which will stick you to the road. Coming down the side, there's these two distinct swage lines that run up to the edge of the door, and also the contrast skirt, which runs up here with a little fin, with a nod to MG's 100th anniversary there as well. Now, one of the standout features of the Cyberster is undoubtedly the doors. And this is a standard feature, regardless of whether you go for the trophy, or the GT. Now more on that fun little feature later. So as we come around the back, the Cybers has this really funky looking rear end uh, with a light bar that runs across the entire width, running into these um, indicators, sort of arrow shaped as a nod to the Union Jack. This car was designed in, uh, Shanghai, in um, London's design studio. Here again you have a, um, a rear splitter with a, a body coloured matching trim. Now the obvious question for most people have with a two seater drop top sports car is what's the compromise on boot space? And I'm pleased to say that it's pretty impressive. So at the moment we've got a charging cable in here and I actually can't reach the very back, I can just about reach the very back of the, um, of the opening. Um, I'm pleased to say that I have managed to get a set of golf clubs in there, uh, take the, uh, the long irons, uh, take the, the drivers out and you will get a set of golf clubs in there. It also will fit comfortably three cabin bags uh, for long weekends away. Um, the good news is there's no compromise on space with the hood up or down. So uh, the charging flap is here on the passenger side. And as you can see, we've got uh, a traditional uh, AC setup with seven kilowatt charger on the top and DC combined CCS charger at the bottom. Uh, the rapid charging speeds on this 77 kilowatt hour battery are up to 150 kilowatts, meaning you'll get a 10 to 80% charge in circa 35 minutes. Now, packing a 77 kilowatt hour battery, that means that the uh, Trophy model, which is a single motor, will achieve 316 miles on a full charge, while this, the dual motor, drops that down to 276. So if you're concerned about the practicality of these somewhat unconventional doors, then there's no need to worry, MG have thought about that. So, you can set each door independently to open to whatever 
uh, level you're happy with. So with mobility issues, you can set it to go almost vertical, leaving an absolutely huge door aperture here to get in and out of. Alternatively, if you are height restricted in a garage, for example, on the other side, I can set that to half open, still room to get in and out of, but I'm nowhere near as, uh, as high in terms of the door opening. And on the theme of practicality, when the British weather gets in the way of your driving enjoyment, or let's say on a day like today, our filming, the Cybersters hood will go up, keep you dry in just 13 or 14 seconds. So the first thing to note about the Cybester is the interior quality. So everything is really well finished, well put together and well made. Starting with these uh, seats. So you've got a suede center with a man-made leather seat bolsters and headrest. This sort of one, one piece design that uh, really finishes off the car well. Now this uh, is one of the two interior options you've got. This being the black with red in inserts. Uh, we'll also show you what the gray with sort of light gray and dark gray looks like. Different interior model uh, color options seem better suited to different exterior color options. Um, we've then also got um, all the instrument controls and, and, and here we have six-way adjustment on the driver and passenger seat with memory function as well on there. Um, and the thing that really sort of stands out in this cockpit is this three screen wraparound display with a 10.25 inch centre display flanked either side by two seven inch displays. Now. When you're driving along, you've got this centre display here, which shows you your um, position on the road for all the MG Pilot uh, suite of safety assistance technology, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, all that sort of thing in there. You've got your central speedo, and on the right-hand side, um, you have any warnings, um, your drive mode selector, that sort of thing. And over here on this right-hand side, there's a slew of menus here to go through. For example, for your vehicle to load functionality, setting charging schedules and charge limits, energy consumption, so you can see how efficient or inefficient you've been. Um, it's obviously internet connected, so you get live weather information, which is very, very useful if the top's down today and it's a changeable sort of day. Uh, you can actually put the hood up on this car while you're driving up to 30 miles an hour. Uh, and it does come up, as I say, in. 13, 14 seconds, so you're unlikely to get caught out. Um, you've got the MG um, iSmart capability on here, so you log in and you have the ability to send routes from your phone's app to the car, so that when you get in, the route is already planned. Um, on this left hand of the uh, two sc three screens, you have inbuilt sat-nav, which is not activated as yet on this early model. You've got Amazon Music, so log into your Amazon account and you'll be able to play your Amazon Music straight through the car. Or, as you'd expect, you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, uh, which will connect up, um, as well as the standard Bluetooth um, connectivity for your phone. Coming down here, I'm pleased to say that MG have kept some um, physical buttons because with the way the world's going at the moment, everything is accessible via a menu. But for the quick access, you can turn up your fan speed. Um, and these are sort of haptic touch. Um, so it gives a sort of really nice premium feel. Uh, and you can also access the 360 degree cameras uh, via this button here. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera, but we will show you that the camera footage, um, now one of the doors is currently up, so it's got three 60 degree cameras, a camera in the front, the rear, and both door mirrors. Now, obviously when your door is up in the position it's in now, it will distort the image of the camera, but you can also do a 360 degree view um, of the car from any angle that you so wish, and also view it from a 2D perspective so that you can view uh, your lovely 20 inch alloys as you're parking up against the curb to make sure that you're not going to scuff them. So that's really neat. Next thing to note is the steering wheel. So the steering wheel is really, really high quality. It's got adjustment uh, four ways. So you can go up, down, in and out with a good level of adjustment there. So I'm fairly comfortable to say that you'll be happy to find a position that works for you. On the left-hand side of this wheel, you have the joypad which controls the left-hand screen. On the right-hand side, the joypad which con 
controls the right hand screen and you've also got quick access shortcuts here so for example like you can on the mg4 you can set a star button to activate one of your um, favorite features now unlike the mg4 uh, where that could be used to change the curse level of regeneration mg have actually put the flappy paddles onto this to allow you a more dynamic driving experience so that you can change that much more quickly on the move while you're driving as well as on the other side of the wheel you have this mode selector which will allow you to go from comfort sport custom um, or even the super sport button here which puts it into track mode um, as you can see on the dials there in track mode everything gets a little bit more racy you get a, a, a red uh, red tinge to all the dials and the performance um, is is in, increased Coming into the center screen here, so this is sort of like the control panel of all the car where you have all your settings. So again, you can change the, um, the drive modes in here, but you also have the ability to have uh, launch control, which is where you will see the full performance and get you to that 0 to 62 in 3.2 seconds. Uh, another feature you can activate in here is the one pedal driving mode. So anybody who's driven EVs before will know how much of a godsend that feature is to allow you to pull up uh, in traffic without having to use the brakes and putting power back into that battery to increase your range. Um, as I mentioned, you've also got the ability to change uh, what this staff button does on the seat. And you also have electric lumbar adjustment of the driver and passenger seat. You also have easy entry, so the seat can be tucked in a really accessible position when the door opens for driver and passenger side, uh, side entry. You've got intelligent headlights, um, you have ambient lights. So in the dark, and we tried this last night, there's LED lights that run uh, through the door cards and through the footwells, which will uh, give you the ability to change it to any color you so wish. Um, filling the cabin and the footwells with bright light uh, to really give that that premium feel you can also change what the instrument cluster looks like it's fully digital so you can change that to either a sort of sporty uh, power grid or the conventional dials um, and you can also change in here vehicle information that you want to be displayed on these center screens as you'd expect, it comes with the full suite of MG Pilot driver assistance technology, meaning that you've got things like lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, forward collision mitigation, in which you can change the sensitivity, or whether it just alerts you or actually brakes for you. Again, um, to generate the five-star in-cap rating that I'm sure this car will have, all these settings are defaulted to on, but you can go into here and turn off uh, whichever ones you choose you don't want. Now, as I mentioned before, you can change the height of the door opening to whatever suits you um, and you also have uh, the ability to power the car off. Now, these menus across the bottom here, you can change it from the car settings to the uh, uh, air conditioning settings. So again, you can choose on here where, the, where you have the fan blowers, whether you have a dual zone sort of split setup um, with air purifying, which this car also has. You can access the heated seats and heated, uh, heated steering wheel functions. And you can also go into um, some of the menus here to choose whether you have automatic air conditioning or manual. Um, swipe down from the top and you have access to the menus quick quick access menus so you can turn on or off certain functions or just turn the screen off and have it nice and simple with a classic design showing you a, a clock face um, and obviously the date on there um, to drive the car you have this center sort of fighter style cockpit um, drive mode selector so MG have done away with the rotary dial that you see in uh, some of the more budget cars and you have a reverse neutral or drive uh, pull toggle and park is, is up there on the uh, park button um, the key as well is new for mg so as you can see it's a new uh, they call it the raindrop uh, effect so you have the ability to open both doors and the boot uh, via the key and also the two center cup holders which can either be in the up position like this now uh, it's still got the plastic on because this is brand spanking new or you can depress them 
and they will hold for the cup holders. You've also got a mobile phone pocket in here to slide your phone in there um, so that when you are accelerating at, um, frankly, eye-watering speed, your, your phone's not going to slide out. And in here, we also have the USB and USB-C uh, connections for um, charging your phone and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So on this right-hand side, um, seven inch monitor, you can change the settings of the Bose sound system. Now, being a more premium EV uh, than MG's previous in the range, you can actually utilize the Bose speaker systems to, to pump in um, some, some excitement, some noise um, via the, um, the Bose system. So you can either have it making a electrically noise or a typical fuel sports car noise and obviously that will um, be intertwined with the power that you're putting through so more power more noise so in a nutshell that is the mg cyberster but let's be honest until we've taken it out on the road we've barely even scratched the surface test drives will be available from july where you and us alike will have the chance to see what the cyberster is really about order books are open now and delivery timelines are 12 to 16 weeks from place being a factory order. That said, we are very aware that if you want to wait until July to drive it and then place a factory order, you're going to be looking at an October slash November delivery. Not ideal for a two-seater drop-top sports car. So, place an order today with Luscombe MG Leeds with a £1,000 fully refundable deposit. If, in July, when you come down and drive the car, you are happy to go ahead, no problem. If at that point you say, not for me, we will give you your thousand pounds back.